Alan Smithers joins me live from Tokyo. Good to see you. Thanks very much for speaking to us. So no, we were saying there that Nintendo shares what they felt at their lowest in more than five years after unveiling its updated version of the Wii. Why were investors so unimpressed? Uh, because I think, oddly enough, they predicted it. Uh, this was a uh, well-kept secret, but uh, everybody was looking at what was available in the market, and everybody, I think, agreed that there was a gap in the market for an iPad-type controller operating on a TV screen situation. And having predicted it, what did everybody do? They said, well, if I can do that, uh, we were expecting more from Nintendo. Yeah, and how much of a problem is that going to be for the likes of Sony and Nintendo going forward, the sort of traditional makers of that sort of hardware? You know, how much are they hurting from competition from mobile devices like Apple uh, and indeed the games that you can play online, you know, social media on, on things like Facebook? Uh, well, we're seeing at this stage incremental uh, negative impact. The big question starts to come as these games um, become more and more common on smartphones and uh, more and more people are spending you know, sort of 10 20 30 dollars per month on uh, online games whereas once they buy a, a, a cartridge uh, that's when it really is going to hurt the likes of Nintendo and Sony at this point they're still sort of fighting amongst each other but uh, until um, this last Christmas it wasn't too bad since last Christmas things have deteriorated quite a bit and we can put this down to this online gaming phenomena. Yeah, so then what are the what are Sony and Nintendo doing to address this problem as you say it's we're already seeing a deterioration. Uh, what are they doing to defend their position in the market? Well, both have come out with quite um, high quality uh, sort of machines. The Sony uh, of the PS Vita, the replacement to the, the PSP, is a very nice piece of equipment in terms of its looks. It's got an AMOLED screen, it's very light, it's got a wonderful touch. Um, meanwhile, the, uh, the Wii U is, you know, as I said, it, it's uh, iPad meets, uh, uh, meets Wii. It's quite nice but is quite nice good enough and so they've rather laid their bets on this they're gonna have to hope that games makers decide well we like the margins and the sales that we used to get from these living room console games so we're still gonna write good games for these but at the same time obviously we're gonna hedge our bets by trying to get into the online market now Nintendo and Sony basically got to hope that there is enough product for their pro for their systems that it's gonna pay off for these machines and just a quick one, you know, very difficult to talk about these companies without mentioning the recent hacking attacks uh, and uh, how damaging this has been. Well, um, extremely damaging, unfortunately, because if you look at uh, the product that Sony's just released with the um, a PS Vita and look at the tablets it announced uh, last month, the S1 and the S2, both of those products were all totally geared around uh, being able to provide an alternative to iTunes. Uh, that alternative has, in quotes, been hacked. Uh, now the hackers are going after Nintendo at the time when Nintendo is also trying to offer itself up with a sort of online uh, multiplayer download service. Uh, no, it could not have come at a worse time.